Hey guys, Rhett here. What's going on at my client Nolan's first Section 8 rental property, guys. I want to take you through it. We're going to walk through it and, and talk a little bit about it. Uh, the, the gentlemen who are just working in here, we have a full team working in here right now. They stepped outside so we could do this video and really excited to bring it to you today. This is a three bedroom house that we're turning into a four bedroom. And the, the really cool part of this is this entire rehab project has been financed. So. The bank gave us the money to do the project. We're doing a, a, a full rehab here, spending a lot of money, did a brand new roof already. That was the first thing we put on, already started into the cosmetics. Come on through and, and we'll talk a little bit about it. So as we walk in here, so everything you're looking at right now, all the flooring, uh, that'll all be redone. Um, we did a base, uh, I don't even know, we might have done a base layer of, of, of paint um, and at least primed it into the base layer. Uh, we did a lot of uh, cosmetic stuff in here now. Keep in mind, very, very early in the process as we just got in here to start the cosmetic piece of this uh, about two and a half days ago. So you can imagine how much work has gone into this in a short amount of time, guys. This house was unbelievably distressed. So it was a house that was sitting here for a very long time, broken windows, broken doors, uh, big pieces of drywall missing floor falling in in the back of the house, huge hole in the roof with a tarp on it, just in really bad shape. And, and right now, being about two and a half days into this project, we're, we're literally 5% in, 10% in. So we have a lot of people working in here right now, working around the clock to get this thing up and running and, uh, and to get it on market. Every day that it's it's not on market is days that, that we're not generating income on it. So. Uh, you have bedroom number one right here. Of course, we'll put uh, we'll put a, a closet door in here. You can see that we've we started doing some of the uh, light painting. We hit, like I said, we hit that first layer here. Still need to do the ceilings and, and everything like that. But um, we have all the floors coming up, all new LVPs going down for this entire house. Totally to change the dynamic. Now, as we walk towards the back of the house. So originally, we, this was a hallway. We just re, we framed this and, and just built this wall here. Um, you'll have all new trim on the, uh, on, and all new baseboards on the floor because this wall didn't exist. So this whole wall, brand new. This wall, brand new. Originally, this was a den. So uh, you kind of, you came through this doorway and you had a den. It's too perfect of a, of a bedroom. So. You can add this without disrupting any other aspect of the home. So in our case, we're going to do it every day of the week. So now we'll put a door right here. You come in here and you have a really good size bedroom. Now we're going to kill this. This is the back side of the fireplace that was in the den. We're going to kill this right here. Trash all these doors. All these doors are bad. All these are going to get replaced. So you come into here and, uh, now, what originally, right, this was the hallway, we, we put another wall, this is that, that wall on the other side, and then now you can walk out into another hallway, kind of a vestibule area, you have your bathroom right here. This entire floor, guys, sagging really, really bad. So we went underneath, we secured all this, um, and, and put some new subfloor on this side as well, as this whole thing was, was falling pretty badly. So um, everything in here, of course, brand new LVP throughout this entire thing. And, uh, and you know, this is going to be bedroom number two. So bedroom number two on the rear back side. One thing you'll notice, big bedrooms, which is really, really nice. So uh, you come off of here, guys, and you have a kitchen, good size kitchen. Needs some work, needs to be cleaned up for sure. This water heater behind you needs to be built into a closet. So you can't have an exposed water heater in a kitchen. It needs to be built in. So what we'll do is we'll build a wall around it that still gives access, but this is a, uh, this is a new water heater as well. Um, good size kitchen, what we'll do is we'll take this refrigerator, we'll put it in an easier place, move it so you can have a kitchen table set up in here as well. Uh, because we don't want to just eliminate our den area and then not have a big enough kitchen to be able to provide for a family. You still need to have the kitchen space so people can, can get together and, and, uh, and, and have a nice meal. Now, this light, horrible. We'll get this out of here. We'll put a light in here that'll really make this thing 
uh, light the whole room up. You'll have issues like this, which will all get taken care of. Beat up, nasty windows, pieces of the ceiling flaking and coming down, bad uh, drywall up on top of the cabinets. So all of this stuff going to be rectified, no question. Um, so it's gonna put us in a, in a really good spot, guys, and, and, uh, and then leading us back into into the living room. So all in all, really, really happy for Nolan. This is a, a really nice house and it, it's going to put him in a position to build his Section 8 portfolio and leaning on a, a lender to help him get there, help him do the Burr method with a lender on his side. So this is a house that Nolan bought for cheap. We're putting a big rehab into and he'll have a lot of value built in because of the, of, of the size of project, the scope of project, and what we're planning to do, how we're planning to take this home, totally revitalize it. We own multiple houses on this street, which is also extremely important because then what you can do is you can literally start to change the demographic of neighborhoods, which makes it even more uh, important because when you start to change neighborhood demographics, you know the people that you're putting in across the street who are adjacent to you, who are next to you. And then what, what starts to happen is if the street maybe wasn't great, now it starts to become great because you know all the tenants on the street, you know all the people that live there and the quality of product that you're building is nicer. So what you end up doing is you start ending up driving prices up for units that you're now building. So now your ARVs go up and the demand to move into that area goes up, which then leads to more tenants wanting to live on those streets because the demand is higher and the units are nicer. So guys, if you want to do this, you absolutely can. There's so many ways to do it. We're going to make money no matter how we end up doing it, whether you do burrs, whether you buy units that are closer to being ready, whether we use bank finance properties uh, or, or the banks finance them up front and finance the rehab or you buy them up front and the bank finances the rehab, whatever it is, we'll get it done. Just please, please, please do it with a team. Do it with people that do it all the time and, and it's second nature to them. And if you wanna do it with me personally, send me an email in the description below. We'll get you started and we'll see you next time.